Have you ever had cake without icing? What's the point, right? So why do you build dashboards without going that extra mile to make them exciting and cool too? Well, today I'm going to show you four things that you can do with animations. A bit of script, and this will add some extra flair to your dashboards. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. One thing that you need to remember about Dundas BI is that it's all browser-based, and even though it has massive capabilities, it's still fundamentally working like any other website. So if you go into the script for any control on your dashboard, you can see that there's a dot .container property for all of them. This container is the outer HTML for the control, and we can manipulate it just like we would any other HTML element on a website. This property is key for everything that I'm going to show you today. So here's the first example. If you saw the video that we did called Up Your Dashboard Game with Templates, I showed you how to create a hidden navigation element that will slide out when the user hits the menu button. What if we wanted to embellish this a little bit by having content animate into existence? Well, one of the easiest things you can do is the jQuery fade in function. Let's add this code to our menu button. I know it looks like a lot here, but I simply have a lot of elements. So first we're going to hide these elements when they're animated, then fade them in. Also notice that this script is targeting the various controls that I want animated by using that container element that I mentioned earlier. Then we're just calling the fade interaction for each element and feeding some properties into it like how long you want to fade for. Easy stuff. Now let's view the dashboard, and as you can see, when I click on the menu button, all the elements that I've targeted fade into existence. I should also point out that I'm using screen capturing software here, so if you're finding the fade a little bit choppier than you'd expect, it's just because of the screen cap. If you do this in real life, it's going to look a lot better. So here's another dashboard where we have some neat animation effects that you can see. Now to understand what you're seeing, this is a little bit of a different type of dashboard, where the target is an always-on display like a television around the office or a factory floor. This dashboard would always be running and anybody at a glance can see up-to-date information. So let's start with the bottom left visualization. You probably noticed that it's been animated. Every time this number changes, the image of the phone shakes to draw the user's attention to that change in data. By flipping to edit mode, you can see this is achieved by adding an animation to the actual label using the data change interaction for the data label. So when that data changes in that label, it's going to fire this script. You can see that we target the phone image, its container, and then we call the shake animation with some parameters, similar to what we did before. One line of code for that neat effect. I'll take it. On to the next animation. On the same dashboard, we have a metric for top agents, and we want to cycle between showing the monthly top agents and the daily top agents. As you watch this metric, it's going to fade from one visual to the next, kind of like what they do at an airport when you're trying to figure out which gate to make a last minute connecting flight. It's set up to change just fast enough to allow you to find your flight, but not give you enough time to actually see which gate to go through before it cycles on. Here's how we did it. Going back to edit mode, you can see that there is a timer control beside the visualization. This timer is set up to trigger every 8 seconds. After the time interval is expired, the timer interval tick event will fire. And here's where we're going to put our script. You can see in this case that there's a bit more logic chaining the animations together. We start by looking at which label is currently being displayed to know whether it's top monthly or daily right now. Then we fade out the table on top. And once that's finished, we fade in the next data table. Then just update the label. We simply reverse this process if it's in the other way around. And that's it. Now I have one more that I want to show you. This is one of my favorite dashboards, as it's a true executive dashboard showing an overview of an entire company. We've got a real-time picture of our manufacturing floor, news, and on the left is a snapshot of every key metric for every department. These metrics on the left also act as buttons to allow me to click and drill down to the department level dashboards. In this example, we've hooked up the fade in function onto the mouse over event for each department. By mousing over, we have two semi transparent rectangles in another layer that basically block the rest of the dashboard and they animate into existence. Now, to do this, 
you can see that there's not a ton going on. We have multiple layers, and we can see by going to the sales layer that there are indeed two rectangles covering the content. There's another hidden rectangle over our sales department metric, and if you select it, you can see that we both have a mouse enter and a mouse leave action. Here's the script for the mouse enter, and as you can see, we're programmatically setting the layer to be displayed. Although you don't have to do this through code, we just have chosen to in this case because I wanted to show that it's possible. Once the layer is displayed, we use the same hiding and fade in method that was used in the first sample. As you can see, with a little bit of code and creativity, you can add some really neat flair to your dashboards. And if you're interested in exploring this further, do a Google search for jQuery animation functions, as there's many different ones available, and it should give you a lot of options to create your own easy animations. Also, if you're looking at doing something a little bit more custom, you should also look into CSS animations. But that's a topic for another day. Finally, if you like the idea of animations, take a look at the video that we did on the Play Axis filter called Use Your Dashboard to Tell a Story. This is an alternate form of animation that I think you might really enjoy. Thanks for watching.